Okay, now we have got all the equations needed. Now let us solve these questions once and for all. We want to get the internal resistance uh, E1, which is a small R1. Okay, we want to get this internal resistance. So what what value we can get first? Okay, out of this we already have length A B and length A P and resistance A B, the whole resistance wire, uh, 5 ohm. Now we can get resistance A P uh, from here. Yeah, we can get resistance. We can get resistance. So what is resistance A P? Yeah, what is resistance? Resistance A P. Okay, so from this one. From this one we can do so the first thing we can do is uh so the first thing we can do is we use the the ratio method yeah ratio uh ratio i can get the resistant ap i mean the resistance for this part uh, resistant ap because i already got the balance length 60 cm i can know what is the resistant ap from the ratio between resistance and the length okay which is this one Resistant AP, uh, resistant AP over resistant AB equal to length AP over length AB. All right. So uh, this resistant A, wait, wait, wait. resistant AP over uh, five ohm. Okay, five ohm uh, equal to this one is sixty centimeter over the length AP AB is hundred centimeter. Okay, so I can get my resistant AP. Uh, resistant AP is uh, so what is the value? Yeah, sixty divide by hundred uh, and then multiply by uh, five. So it is three ohm. Uh, it is three ohm. Understand? Uh, it's three ohm. Okay, so I got the resistance 3 ohm. Uh, yeah, resistance AP is 3 ohm. You can write that over here. It is 3 ohm. Yeah, uh, resistance AP. Uh, okay, that's the resistance AP. So uh, now I got the resistance AP. Um, okay, how about the top circuit here? Uh, the top circuit here. Okay, the top circuit here, as we already learned. Uh, yeah. Uh, we can use uh, either concept you want to use the terminal voltage concept or you want to use the you know series resistor concept also can uh, you know uh, maybe you can use this one series resistor e1 equal to uh, i1 multiply uh, i1 multiply all the resistance the external resistor plus the internal resistor rab plus uh, r1 okay that's the top resistor huh? that's the top circuit huh? Top circuit we have EMF1, external resistor RAB in series with the internal resistor R1. Uh, in series with internal resistor R1. So we got this formula. Yeah, we got this formula. The EMF1 equal to the total current I1 multiply external resistor plus internal resistor. Uh, okay, so we can use this formula. Yeah, maybe we can use this formula. Uh, can use this formula. Uh, substitute our value of because the E1 already given is 12 volt uh, E1 is uh, 12 volt yeah E1 is 12 volt and then resistant AB also we have already 5 ohm yeah 5 ohm resistor AB 5 ohm internal resistor R1 uh, is what we want to find we want to find R1 we don't have okay current one do we have current one no current not provided never mind we substitute first yeah yeah you can either uh, you can either use this terminal voltage concept yeah terminal voltage concept uh, you also get back the same formula this one you see this formula and this formula is the same uh, you want to use the ohm's law ohm's law method yeah this is uh, i can say this is like this is like ohm's law ohm's law method uh, the emf method yeah uh, this is like terminal voltage but you get back the same equation you understand you get back the same equation uh, terminal voltage concept you you are uh, you get this use concept you get this formula also or you get or you use ohm's law to get this formula understand okay so now we use this formula uh, we substitute all the information okay so that's our second step yeah our second step which is uh 
okay i use just now i use ratio method i got this now the second step is the second step is i use the formula e1 r uh, this one okay uh, e1 equal to i1 rab okay uh, plus r1 okay substitute our value substitute our value e1 is 12 volt okay i1 and then rab rab is 5 ohm yeah 5 ohm put in put into the formula and then r1 okay so to get the internal resistance r1 i need the current i don't have the current isn't it uh, so to find the current i can find it uh i can i need to use the bottom circuit uh, i need to use the bottom circuit you see here i can find current current one ah uh, you see that because you see uh this um uh this vap ap voltage ap is equal to emf because uh ir equal to zero ir equal to zero so i can say uh the terminal voltage of this one is just the emf2 yeah the emf2 so the voltage ap yeah voltage ap maybe i can just uh, rewrite this one as you know i uh, maybe i don't want to confuse you uh, maybe you can just write this as voltage ap lah yeah put this as voltage ap um voltage ap this one also lah voltage uh understand last time this one also uh, uh i can put this as voltage ab uh, understand uh, maybe this one is better yeah last time voltage ab voltage ab is the terminal voltage uh e1 minus i1 r1 that's voltage ab voltage ap voltage ap which is okay again again huh? voltage ab voltage ab is uh, the terminal voltage of this one which is e1 minus i1 r1 okay but voltage ap ap is the emf2 only emf2 because ir equal to zero ah okay uh, see that see the difference here see the difference here the voltage ab voltage ab is e1 minus i1 r1 but voltage AP, voltage AP is just E2, uh, is just E2, okay? Uh, so, uh, this one, and then voltage AP, voltage AP is, what's the current passing through? Current passing through the uh, AP is I1. This I1 is coming from the battery E1, understand? Uh, there's current through the wire, but there's no current at the bottom. That's why the internal resistance has no voltage has no potential drop okay but for wire ap there's voltage understand uh, voltage AP, there's the current at the current at the top but there's no current at the bottom yeah so okay uh, voltage ap is just emf2 huh? emf2 that no need to minus ir yeah? ir equal to zero okay uh, and then voltage ap is uh, i1 my multiply uh, resistant AP uh, because it's current I1 passing through uh, resistant AP. Uh, so we use this formula. We use this formula and do the questions. Yeah, and we can find the current I1. That's the third step. So E2 is uh, I1 RAP. Okay, I1 RAP. So E2, we already got E2. E2 is 3 volt. Uh, 3 volt. That's 3 volt. Oh, and then I1, RAP. What is RAP? Uh, RAP just now I got is 3 ohm. 3 ohm. That's right. 3 ohm. Uh, 3 ohm. Okay, so I can get my current I1. I can get my current I1, which is uh, 1 ampere. Uh, 1 ampere. That's good. Now, next is uh, we can solve already. I can use back these equations. I can substitute my current I1, uh, 1 ampere. So there's actually 1 ampere passing through the top circuit. You understand? Uh, so there's uh, 1 ampere, you know, 1 ampere. Uh, 1 ampere passing through the whole circuit at the top. Yeah, it's uh, 1 ampere at the top. Uh, it's 1 ampere actually at the top. Going through the whole circuit. The 1 ampere passing through the 
resistor AB, the wire, the wire, and also through the internal resistor. Understand? Uh, so okay, put in my current, and I I will get my internal resistor uh, for uh, battery E1. Okay. So okay, twelve. Uh, this one is one, and then five plus R1. So twelve equal to five plus R1. So what is R1? R1 is seven ohm. Okay, so that's the answer. Internal resistor for battery one is seven ohm. Is that correct? That's correct. Seven ohm. That's correct. Okay. Uh, so that's all. Actually, the working is uh, not not long, but the concept inside you need to. Yeah, the step is just a few only. You see, the step is just a few. Uh, very short, very short answer. But the concept you need to know uh, is, uh, you know, you must you must know the concept behind first. Okay, import. Okay, I I, I want I want to summarize it as uh, voltage A B. Yeah, I want to summarize like this. Yeah, uh, the most important thing you should know is uh, voltage A B. Uh, maybe I can. Uh, 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 this color okay voltage a b voltage a b is uh somewhere maybe i should write below here uh somewhere below here okay voltage a b voltage a b at the voltage a b voltage a b is uh, the mo thing you need to know is is uh e1 minus i1 r1 voltage a b is E1 minus I, I1 R1 because there's current flow. It's like closed switch. Got current got potential drop across internal resistance. Whereas for bottoms, bottom circuit, bottom circuit, there's no potential drop across internal resistance. So IR equal to zero. So for voltage AP, for voltage AP, it is just uh, E2. Ah no IR. I, I, IR equal to zero. Uh, that's just E2. Uh, so from here you can you know this just these two important formula you need to know. Uh, yeah? Uh, just these two important formula you need to know. Uh, important concept. Uh, from here you can uh, you know I just want to um, uh, okay uh, this one. Uh, okay. Just this you need you need to know. So from here VAB, so from here you can elaborate. VAB is uh, I1 RAB, yeah, I1 RAB, uh, uh, and then you get this formula, EMF formula. Or you want to treat the top circuit as like Ohm's law method, uh, the internal resistor and external resistor are all resistor, are all resistor. So you just take E1 multiply I1, uh, and E1 equal to I1 multiply all the resistance, external plus internal. Uh, you also get the same formula for the top circuit. Uh, then you use over here. And the bottom circuit is uh, VAP equal to E2. Uh, VAP equal to only E2. Yeah, because there's no IR. Uh, so uh, VAP equal to E2. So from here, VAP equal to E2. You see that? VAP equal to E2. So VAP itself is I1 RAP. Yeah. Uh, yeah, V because V equal to IR, yeah. This one use the form the, the Ohm's law V equal to IR. So when VAP means it is uh current, what's the current passing through the AP? Uh the current passing through AP is the same current passing through AB, which is I1. Uh, that's why I put as I1. I1. Uh and then resistor A AP. Ah, that's why. That's why VAP VAP equal to I1 RAP I1 RAP Ohm's law method yeah and E2 will be equal to this one lah ah uh, yeah this one you must know VAP is just the E2 yeah VAP just equal to E2 there's no IR ah uh, okay and for from this concept you can solve the questions yeah so I hope you understand uh, any things you want you want to say you can just leave a comment below my videos okay see you again next time bye